Hi, it's Dr. Paul. I've got a couple that some of you might recognize from a very old video. Let's go okay. take a look. All right. Hey, how you guys doing? Hey, good. It's good to see you. Yeah. I'm going to do a real quick exam. I've actually had a request from a uh, one of the colleges, medical schools, wanting me to do this. So I thought, well, we'll just go and do this. So the very first thing I'm doing is just sort of looking for symmetry. I like to make sure the fontanelle is soft and the head looks about right. There's no major abnormalities there. Yes, I was going to ask you to say ah. Uh, there's a little bit of jaundice, which is just a ye yellow color to the skin. And uh, you tend to see jaundice starts worse in the face as it comes down. By the time we get down to the legs, they're fine. This is a relatively normal amount. Not quite bad enough that I would need to check a bilirubin. If you're a brand new student and you're not sure, just check it. It's just a little foot poke. You can check a bilirubin. And, uh, there's the Bhutani graph. You look that one up, Bhutani nomogram for bilirubin levels. It goes up based on age. You can see a little bit of yellow here on the trunk. I've looked at so many of these, I could guess this one to be in about 10, 11. And for a three, four day old, that's fine. If you want me to check, I certainly can. But since feeding's going so well, I think we're better. Okay. okay. What, another way to look, so, you know, one of our parents here has gorgeous skin, right? You have more of the, the ethnic color of a little golden. bit golden skin. Uh, so one of the things we like to do is to get a look at the whites of the eyes, which babies don't like to open their eyes unless they're, it's darker in the room, or you do the new, new pediatrician dance here, or dip. <laughs> it's just too bright. I'm gonna turn the light off, and that usually helps. Yeah, you can open your eyes, and we look at the whites of the eyes if we get a chance. Ta -da. Should just open one. Yeah, the left eye opens easier than the right. There you go. So I'm going to do a red reflex. You get your ophthalmoscope, and you look right at the pupil, and you look for a flash of red. You can't see that on the camera, but I saw it. That's a normal red reflex. And when we're looking in the mouth, looking at the palate. All that looks normal. Obviously, we're going to listen to heart and lungs. Excellent. I've already done all this, so this is sort of a redo for the camera. So if it looks like I'm not being thorough, I've been thorough. We check the abdomen. Oh, honey, it's okay. I'm going to put the light back on just so we can see what we're doing. Honey, I know, I know, I know. Is it time to eat? Okay, there you go. There you go. There you go. Five days. Oh, even better. Oh. Okay, even better. So I jiggle the feet like this because it allows the stomach muscles to relax and I can feel for masses in the abdomen. And then I'm checking for femoral pulses. It's very important. You rule out coarctation of the aorta when you feel a good femoral pulse. The cord just fell off. So if you come a little closer, you can see there's a little bit of a scab on the umbilicus there. No big deal. That will come off with soap and water. And I've already looked at the genitals and they're normal. We'll save YouTube from that one. And then we just look at the bottom crease, make sure there's no deep sacral dimple, which there isn't. And we're gonna check the hips. So you grab thighs. My little finger is right here at the, where the femur meets the uh, pelvis. And I'm gonna push up and down and then also try to dislocate the hip and it doesn't dislocate. So we got perfect hips. We have a perfect baby here. Yes, we do. We're gonna get those hands secured. This is a really cool blanket. All right. Ha 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 ha. All right, I think I gotcha. Now, we're gonna get that tongue. So we've already talked about the tongue tie. This is a minor uh, membrane that you can see <laughs> on the tongue. Right underneath the tongue. You are a busy one with those hands. There you see that membrane. We're just going to clip that. I'm going to actually use this little retractor. Yeah, we got, we got kind of loosened up there. That is a little more I could get. No, I got enough. Okay, we're good. Perfect. Well, thumbs up for our special couple. Find them on an earlier video. 
Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul.